What is going on YouTube? I am back with another video, you guys, and I actually have these scat pack outside. It's getting ready to be washed, which is why I have on long sleeves. It looks sunny, but it's actually a little cold. But we got new wheels on the scat pack. We're gonna be talking about how to clean them properly. What is the best all-purpose wheel cleaner? I got two. I'm gonna show you the differences in the two. Um, and yes, these are black wheels. Let's dive in. So first and foremost, we have 20 by 11 Rohanas all the way around with a six piston Brembo in the front, four piston Brembo in the rear. And you can see the car hasn't been washed in a while. I mean, it's pretty dirty. The front of it has crazy bugs all over it. But again, we're focused on the actual wheel. You can see by where my finger was, it is a very dirty rim. These pistons or these six piston Brembo's give off so much, so, so much brake dust. I went brain dead for a minute, you guys. And I'm gonna show you the two wheel cleaners we're gonna, we're gonna actually use. So with TikTok, YouTube, et cetera, there's so many wheel cleaners out there, but I'm, I'm a big, simple person being able to go to Advanced Auto, whatever, and be able to pick it up. I used to be a big Jack's Wax guy. Um, I was sponsored by Jack's Wax. I still am, but there is no Jack's Wax by us. So this is your Meguiar's all wheel, all wheel cleaner. Again, you can see it's safe on all wheels. This one does change color. And then the Adams wheel and tire cleaner. Again, this is also gonna change colors. This is safe for all wheels, powder coated, clear coated, chrome, doesn't matter which is why I like to use them. There are some more abrasive or stronger cleaners out there like wheel acid, but you don't wanna use those on wheels when you don't know what's gonna happen, which is why I chose these two. Now, you do have Brake Bomber, like I said, the Jack Wax wheel cleaner. There are some others, the PNS wheel cleaner that I like to use, but I have to order those, which means I have to wait and this car cannot wait. So let's show you how to get at. All right, you guys, I have my rinse bucket obviously my soap bucket the three main tools that i'm going to use with all the crevices and i'm also going to get a detailing brush i'm sorry not a detailing brush a towel um, to help get in some of those areas that are going to be a little bit more difficult but what i'm going to do is i'm going to test one side with your adam's wheel cleaner not touching it just to spray on and wash off I'm gonna use another side with this, just spray on and wash off. Then I'll get into the deep cleaning it so you can see the difference in the two as far as just a, a touchless wash versus, again, how I clean my wheels. So as I stated, it, it is a regular water hose, not a pressure wash or anything like that. I'm gonna rinse them off. And I'm doing this in real time so you can see Yes, they were crazy, crazy dirty. And I'm going to use my Adams wheel cleaner first. And we're just gonna spray pretty heavily. Like I said, I may be over spraying, but it is what it is. You just came back from the store so our brakes are going to be a little hot so don't kill me and you can see again this is this one is good on wheel and tire do a couple more you can see the color change on the tire getting the grease off but i'm gonna stop the video let it sit and come back we're gonna do 30 seconds and then rinse it straight off and we're gonna see what it's like you guys already saw it was all right, it's been 30 seconds. We're just gonna. It does set up really, really good or have a lot of suds as far as the, the wheel, wheel cleaner itself. It didn't turn purple like I thought. It did change color on the tires. Make sure I get much of it off as I can. And again, this is touchless. And it didn't do bad. Definitely took off the heavy dirt. 
pretty pretty clean job now down here where a lot of the brake dust collects you can see a little bit but i mean the spokes themselves pretty good i'm not gonna lie yeah i can still rinse off but that's not bad let's head over to the other side and use the other wheel cleaner all right we're gonna be using the mcguire's ultimate all wheel you can see again how dirty this actual wheel is we're gonna rinse it off Oh, you can see how dirty that is. Now this one will change colors. Not sure you'll be able to see the, the purple on the black wheel. probably gonna run out of this bottle I just used it on my car because this is what I prefer but I'm testing it out for you guys you can see the purple starting to come about and we're gonna let it sit for 30 seconds now it has sat for 30 seconds you can see it changing purple which means it's supposedly working we're gonna spray it off. Probably gonna. This one does set up as well. You can see. I sprayed a lot just to make sure I covered all the areas. You can see how purple and how dirty the water actually is coming off the wheel. I'm biased. I'm a fan of the Meguiar's. We'll see how well it does. Right now, no cuts. And look, it's still dirty. That's crazy. I just got proven wrong. Looks like the other stuff worked better, you guys. Now, that's probably still on my finger from last time. Let's do somewhere else. Let's try right here. I don't know, it's still dirty. You guys, the Adams may have won. Hey, it looks clean, but it's not. That's crazy. So, your Adams will and tie cleaner. Maybe better. Let's spray it on and see what happens. Let's spray it on. Continue this video. I like the other stuff because it changed colors, but let's do the whole wheel, excess, whatever. Give it 30 seconds. It does somewhat change colors. It's got that orange tint to it. Let's go ahead and spray it off. You can see how much suds are coming off the wheel. So it is a good wheel cleaner. Again, I just got proven wrong. We're gonna see how wrong. Make sure I got all of it off. Right, let's use a clean finger here. The wheels may just be that dirty. wheels might just be that dirty but overall i think the adams polishes adams polish one we're gonna clean the rest of the car obviously i spray some more wheel cleaner on use my wheel brush rest of my utensils and get it spotless all right you guys i'm gonna get the car all cleaned up stay tuned we'll show you it all finished and now she is all clean there is no tire gel on it because we don't want to sling onto a non-ceramic satin wrap but you can see the wheel is definitely black now it was the color of the tire so my way works again i did learn something about my favorite wheel cleaner but that wheel was just crazy dirty but you can see the pink accents the bambi logo in the 
satin wrap. Doesn't look bad.